Hello YouTube and today I'm going to show you like I promised like I promised uh, earlier on so I hope I'll make the tutorial as short as possible so quickly I'm just going to carry on with the uh, two tutorials so for this tutorial uh, it's just the same process like what we did uh, previously but in this tutorial I'm going to create a separate special database for this login system okay so basically I've created a database called login here and then I've created and a table called user uh, with the values with the attributes rather called username and password so after creating our database um, we move on to visual uh, basic I'm using uh, Visual Basic Visual Studio rather Visual Studio 2012 professional Visual Studio 2012 professional and uh, this is uh, currently the layout of my form and I'm going to connect uh, my database to this form and I believe if you've been following my tutorials I've shown you how to do all that so to save time I'm going to pause and connect the database okay so to carry on um, so here's the code that I've recreated uh, just the same code uh, mostly as from our previous tutorials like we had to import we had to import our namespaces and you know if you want my sequel to appear you have to add a reference on your project like you right click then go to add reference I believe you've watched my previous tutorials add reference then select under extensions then choose Microsoft my, sorry my sequel dot data like what I just did click it and then OK then after that you just import the namespace uh, dot data dot my sequel client also import the system though data just in case but it's not that really important though and then uh, on starting our class the pu public class then uh, under that you declare a connection MySQL connection in which you have to define the server name where it where the MySQL server is hosted and in this case it's on on the local host that is my machine 127.0.0.1 and then uh, my user ID it's the root uh, the default I just used the default and then my password that I used um, for this database that I created for for my SQL server rather and then the database name that I just created earlier on like I sh I've shown you I believe you are now familiar uh, with uh, the creation of databases so after that I went on to make two, two new different different uh, different um, declaration within the the command button method so here I want somebody to enter uh, the username and the password and uh, then double click on the on the button so to view the code so double click in it so my button method starts from private going down to the end sub here so this this is my whole uh, method so basically I'm um, I believe you're familiar with the MySQL command declaration that I just made I explained it in my previous tutorial the new thing that I might I believe might be new though uh, is the 
uh, MySQL data adapter. The data adapter simply uh, gives us um, that uh, port to look into the MySQL data and reference the collection from MySQL data to Visual Basic project. Sort of, you gotta read on this. Uh, I wouldn't lie to you. And then I have a couple of uh, coding here. If txt dot is just uh, validation, like I promised you, uh, fully functional. Okay, I can say three quarter fully functional uh, login system. It's not fully functional, it's just three quarter. So, this one basically is the uh, validation just to check in uh, what happens if somebody uh, clicks the login button without filling the necessary credentials for the password and the the username text boxes so after that uh the message box display displays please uh provide creden credentials and then the focus that is the cursor uh goes to the text box uh text uh, to the username text box rather sorry for that so this cursor starts blinking in the username text box so to show you quickly this is my arrangement and if somebody just clicks without entering any data this is what happens provide all credentials and then the cursor moves back to the username um, username one username text box so to move on um, and then else I did my try catch statement here uh, please note this a try catch statement is uh, a necessity whether you're programming in C or Visual C, Python, whatsoever, Java, make sure you use a try catch statement. It is just so simple. It's another way of uh, showing you errors where errors that may occur within your project, within your code, with a meaningful arrangement. It's so totally different from situation when in which uh, you wouldn't understand uh, a given problem that might arise a given error that um, might arise in the error list uh, after debugging your program after compiling your program rather so try catch statements especially after catching an exception uh, displaying it as a message right here makes everything um, so simple it shows you whether it clearly shows you that a certain uh, a certain procedure has been skipped for example if a connection uh, to a database could not be established a try catch statement uh, under the exception uh, the exception part it clearly shows you uh, that a database has not been connected has not been connected to for example or any other a database uh, such a user such a table does not exist so uh, from my creation from the database that I created earlier my database is called um, login right uh, my database is called login keep that in mind and in my database I created a table called user a table called users user has two fields the username and the password so I created this is my database called login and this is my table called user and it has two uh, fields uh, that will be filled uh, via the text box username and the uh, password text box too so with this declaration a new MySQL data adapter uh, will use it uh, here starting from here I believe uh, you're familiar with the MySQL command we've worked with these uh, in my previous tutorials so coming here like you uh, as you can see here my SQL data, data adapter I had d my di as new my SQL data adapter and declare redeclaration here um, simply creates another data adapter but it's no longer new you just deem my data is my SQL data adapter let me check my time. Okay. My SQL data adapter, and then 
created this after that uh, I went on to my data I now got my my uh, data adapter as you can see this command uh, which is uh, my SQL command used to to be executed just after the command text uh, command but rather here the execute execute reader cmd dot execute reader is it's um reading from the database uh from the previous tutorials that i've shown you uh i used to have something like cmd dot execute non non query this was the this was the method that i had from the previous this was the method that I had from the previous we weren't working with the data adapter so here we don't need it right now what we need is a reader something that's read that reads um, within a data adapter with within a database sorry and uh, I can compare it to something like reading from a text file if you have uh, ever worked with uh, text files maybe in C maybe in Java uh, maybe in C++, I don't know, or even maybe in Visual Studio, Visual Basic, .NET, I don't know. So here, the execute reader method will be reading from the database and assigning all the values to what? To my data. So, to my data, that is uh, my SQL data reader. So, my data now has uh, the information, the role, rather that is the record this whole row the row of from the database and after that if uh, this statement is equal to zero that is it is now comparing like uh, the rows if there are no rows what this statement simply means is if there are no rows equal to zero if there are no rows that match the data that has been read from the database and comparing it here with this uh, select statement then a message box has to to be prompted that is access has been denied and then I believe these two commands are so general that is clearing the text boxes and giving the user another option to uh, low re-enter data again and then if uh, my data dot his rows is not equal to now is not equal to zero then uh, access will be granted and now what happens after access has been granted uh, then show the main form showing the main form I've created another main form here just um, for the final fit to show you the to, m to show you the result after somebody has been uh, granted the access and what happens to the form that uh, the login form I needed to hide but hiding the hide method usually doesn't work that well when you uh, deploy your uh, a real system why because the hide system it only uh, makes the f a form disappear but it doesn't kill the process so the process will always be running in your task task manager so sometimes machine machines end up being slow so the best will be you to use the close method me dot close but i'm not gonna use it though since i'm not going um going to deploy my application i'm just going to show you uh uh how to make um how to make a login system so to top it off to top it up rather i'll let some few ingredients uh maybe picture box you know like since i promise some other people serious people since i promise some other people like uh a better login system this is what i'm gonna do so i'm basically gonna put a picture box there and try to add in to make it look quite good picture box then just look for an image I'll import the image into my resource folder I've already 